Hi everyone, today I'm going to be tying a tadpole. Now the hook I'm going to be using is a Partridge Red Itch Sprout. It's a size 10 and it's from Patriot Range. The thread I'm going to be using is Black Uni 8 -0. And what we do to create the underbody, we just catch the silk on, three or four solid turns, and then with open turns, we go down the shank towards the finish point, which is between the point of the hook and the imaginary barb. Trim away the waist, and take the silk back up to about a quarter of the way down from the, the eye. Now to create an, an under tail, we use Glisten Glint, and this is Black Embers from Deer Creek. Take a few fibres, and so, place them on top of the hook. Two solid pincher loops, lift, tie the fibres down towards the finish point. There. Then we take the front fibres, fold them back, catch them in, two solid turns, and then take the silk back up to where we started. Now to create the undertail, pull the fibres together, don't cut them in one go, what we do is we feather them. We just nibble away so they're slightly different lengths. And it gives it a, a more realistic or natural look, like so. Now to form the body, we take a large black dyed feather, and this is from a Chinese cape, we strip the down away and so place it onto the shank or the hook catch it on secure it and then tie down when it's secure trim the stalk away and now we form a body simply by using the hackle as you generally do turn around up tight to the eye or three turns and then work your way down and at this point I generally use my hackle pliers catching the tip and then hackle down towards the silk and get as much of the feather as you can onto the shank and then we're there cross over secure it pull the tip away with your forefinger and thumb, side to side, above and below, just crease the fibres backwards. Side to side, above and below. And then when we're happy with the shape we've got, we pull them back. It's a little bit difficult to do. Sometimes just use a needle just to hold them back. And when we're at that position, Get two loose turns, two, adjust the fibers as you want them, like so. Put your thumb on the eye, finger and thumb under the where the knot is going to be, and push the body up, like so, to create a bubble. When you're there, two or three turns, and we're finished. Trim the silk away. Make sure it's sitting as we want it. Yeah, that's pretty good. We take our Deer Creek UV fine and just spot it on the silk. And so put a good blob on it. Leave it uh, soaking. Leave it go through. And then hit it with a torch. Don't worry about being a little bit messy because because of the the actual fibers, it just spreads through them. It just gives it a bit more strength, makes it durable. And there we are. That's a tadpole. Thanks very much for watching.